What up, what up? Uh, yeah, Waterheart, um, yeah, have a good one, man. Thanks for stopping by, uh, even just for a little bit. Uh, yeah, let's continue this run. It's uh, a little bit later than I normally start, but I was watching a movie earlier. So, where did we start earlier? Or, where did we end it off? What we finished up was, um, we just had our date with, um, Papyrus, and that was about, that's pretty much the same as what we did last time. Um, I actually stopped at that point at, as well, the, my first playthrough. And so, from here, we can get past, uh, Papyrus now, and, uh, maybe continue to the Hotlands, I think, is where we're going. So let's, yeah, let's just head to the right. I probably should have taken, like, the teleporter or whatever, the igloo thing, but no big deal. So, Water Art, how are you doing tonight, man? Is it evening for you? Is it morning? I assume I can just get past this. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Yo, uh, thanks for the resub, Ben. Um, my name might be Zach. Actually, dude, uh, I'm glad you stopped by. I just watched the movie. Oh my gosh, dude. I was crying so much, and I just had to play this so that I could, like, distract myself from, like, not being sad. Yo, are you thinking I have to see here, too? Oh, I forgot. So this kid is, um... You're not great, you're sick right now. Oh, sorry to hear that, man. I hope, uh... Well, uh, during this weekend, I hope you get a lot of rest. Feel better, man. Are you sticking out to see her, too? So this kid is really obsessed with Undyne. Like, Un Undyne's number one fan. I love it. This kid's awesome. Uh, yeah, I watched the movie, Ben, and... Oh, man, I... I was crying a lot. Uh, I was getting really emotional. Awesome! She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. <laughs> this, this is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. And this is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. <laughs> How do you think it compares to a sound voice? I didn't like to bear off their first watch than my first sound voice to watch. But that movie has really grown on me. Uh... I think it's hard to really compare. Um, <laughs> what? Haven't you haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? <laughs> Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. Um, I probably like a silent voice a little bit better. Um, uh, I'd say movies with bowling, like as a major theme, really like, or not movies. I guess anything with bowling as a major theme really like really break me. And I guess that's part of the reason I really love that movie. And that the way that uh, uh, Shoya Ishida really seeks redemption. I think it's really awesome. I don't know. I'm going to Grillby's. Want to come? Uh, yeah, let's go to Grillby's. I mean, well, if you insist, I'll probably myself away from more, my work. He buys me a burger, and I don't eat it, right? I think that's pretty right. Over here, I know a shortcut. I didn't even save. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Good evening, Sans. Hiya, Sansy. Hey, Sans. Were you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Yeah. Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least a half an hour. <laughs> Must be thinking of brunch. I didn't get the pun or the joke, but here, here, get comfy. Oh, that's a whoopee cushion. Gosh dang it, Sans. Whoops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes widows put whoopee cushions on the seats. It looks like there's a door behind his stand. Uh, oh, is there? I have to check it out. Anyway, let's order. Can you get through? That'd be sick. Uh, last time I ordered a burger, so let's get fries. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Gobi, we'll order, we'll have a double order of fries. 
Just fries? Come on. So, what do you think? Of my, of my brother. He's so cool, dude. Of course he's cool. Easy! Yo, what up, Sam? How you doing, man? Uh, I watched the VOD of, um... <laughs> I watched the VOD of the session a few, uh, two sessions ago for you now, since you guys had one on Wednesday, I think. But, and, uh, I love, uh, Taylor's new D&D character. You don't know if you can, but you've never noticed it. Oh, I mean, I doubt you can. I didn't notice it before, though. I'll have to see. It'd be cool, too, if you wore that outfit every day. You'd only take that thing off if you absolutely had to. Oh, well. At least he washes it. And by that, I mean he wears it in the shower. Have you guys seen Good Burger? Um, um, Good Burger? The main character, Ed, played by... What was... Uh, Keenan Nikel. I don't know which one it is. Keenan, maybe? Uh, but, yeah, he wears his Good Burger uniform in the shower. This is what it reminds me of. Here comes a grub. Want some ketchup? Yes. Bon appetit. He took the ketchup. The cap falls off and all the ketchup in the bottle pours onto your food. What a bully. Whoops. Eh, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. <laughs> He's just scratching his butt. Uh, you're dying during the warm beating coming from the pocket conversation. During the warm feeling coming from the pocket. It sounds like a really. Oh! Oh! I thought we were talking about the movie, Ben. I had no idea what you were talking about. Okay, the session. Yeah, that's so funny! <laughs> oh. When he felt the stuff. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree. Papyrus tries real hard. I like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. So, uh, Papyrus was, um, added to the Royal Guard from Undyne, Undyne the actual head of the Royal Guard. And this is what we're talking about now. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Yeah, the echo flower? Or, no, flowy! Or, no, flower. Flowy! Flowy! Yes! So you know all about it. The echo fl The echo flower. Never mind. They're all over the marsh. I got mind gamed. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, my parents told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery. Advice. Encouragement. Predictions. Weird, huh? Are we sure this is not flowey? The, like, evil flower? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. I didn't pick that up the first time I played this. Oh my gosh. I'm an idiot. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you fit the bill? <laughs> it's just 10,000 G. Yes. Just kidding. Okay. Girl, we put it on my tab. Thanks, Ants. See you later. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Cool, dude. <laughs> you think that's flower? Yeah, I think so too, man. Seems quite sketch. Flower's messed up. I wonder if I'll have to fight Flowey again in the in this game. Uh, so I know Waterheart has played um, Slow Driven, and my name might be Zach. Have you, either of you played this game? I'm just curious. Pretty really, it's a really cool game. If um, it's really the gameplay itself is like pretty okay. Not nothing like to write home about, I'd say. But 
Everything else about it is amazing. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. Let's see. This is a box. You can put an item in or take an item out. Why would you though? You can't use items when they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. Uh, I don't need anything from the box. Um, there's something up there, isn't there? Um, I believe. I swear I saw something behind that rushing water. Oh, okay. I forgot you go up here, through here. Okay, here we go. There's a tutu lying on the ground here. Can we take it? Yeah. I don't know what turning on off the mushrooms does. I really don't. I've done it every single time though. Uh, old tutu armor, defense ten. I think this is better than what I have. This is what I replaced the bandage and I had. Wait, what? Oh. I had no armor. Sick. I just gained 10 armor. Whoa. This looks creepy. Like, the way the shadow goes for on to the right side, but not on the left. It makes sense, right? But it just looks kind of creepy. Here, Undyne is going to try and kill us. Uh, hi, Undyne! I'm here with my daily report! Ah! Recording that human I called you about earlier! Huh? Did I fight them? Yes! Of course I did! I fought them valiantly! What? Did I capture them? Oh, well... No! I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed! What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But Undyne, you don't have to destroy them! You see... You see... Understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Which is heightened. Oh. Please. Kid, yep. Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome. I'm so jealous. What did you do to get her attention? <laughs> Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. This kid, clumsy. A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. When four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. Sprout. Four in a line. Easy. Easy. Aaron flexes in. Yo, what up, Aaron? Let's flex. He flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for both of us. Flexing contest? Okay, flex more. Oh, I got hits? Are you joking? Oh! Aaron is ready for your next flex. Flex again. He flex harder. Aaron flexes thrice as hard. Aaron increases for attack increases for both. Okay. Nice. I won't lose, though. Ugh! Okay. Let's see. Aaron's ready for the next flex, okay? He flexes. Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room! Alright. <laughs> Later. Uh, if I recall correctly, how did I do this again? Like this? Yeah, yeah, it's like this. Okay. I guess this is one way to solve it, I believe. Weird flex, but okay. I don't even know how that meme came to be. Oh, what? I didn't know what that bell did. I just wanted to ring it. Apparently it resets it. Dang it. 
I had the puzzle solved. No! Oh, now I need to ring the bell. That was embarrassing. Alright, we got this. No missed inputs, no bell ringing. Ring! Hello! This is Papyrus! How did I get this number? It was easy! I styled every number sequentially until I got yours! Brute force, dude. <laughs> so, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought you... She saw you wearing a dusty tutu. Is that true? Are you wearing a dusty tutu? So I am wearing a dusty tutu. But I will say, no, I'm not. So you are wearing a dusty tutu. Got it! You're my friend, so I trust you 100%. Have a nice day! So, I think he's talking about Undyne, and Undyne is looking for me. Um, so, I didn't want to tell him what I'm actually wearing. A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now, all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. So these are echo flowers. Remember this, uh, what people last heard. Washua shuffles up. Um, well, let's, oh, I didn't mean to touch him. We reach out, Washua recoils from your touch. I didn't want to touch him, I wanted to check him. Oh, please no. Oh my gosh, awful. Uh, Washua's rinsing off a pizza. What, why are you rinsing off a pizza? That's messed up. This humble germaphobe seeks to cleanse the whole world. Okay. So that just gives me an idea of what I need to do, probably. Okay. So, I want to clean. You ask Washa to clean you. It hops around excitedly. Green means clean. Okay, so I want the green thing. Ugh! Ow, I got hit by two? Are you joking? Awful. Washa is friends with a little bird. Oh, I can run away from him. Sis? Oh, come on, sis, make a wish. I wish my sister and I will see the real star someday. Look through the telescope? Yeah, okay. Check wall. Check the top wall, I assume. <laughs> Got him. Uh, maybe I'm not done with this room yet, though. Let's check. Oh, I am basically done. Ah, uh, since my horoscope is the same as last week's. Okay, cool. Dang it, Washua. Oh, you're walking down Mole's small. Okay, see ya. Uh, is there anything over here? It's a, it's a, it's a debate over there. Ancient Ryan covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The war of humans and monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body, even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul. A horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. Okay. It's my first encounter. Yep. <laughs> Oh, a hit? Uh, how do I, what? How do I avoid those? Are you joking me? Oh, she's still coming. I think it's cool.
It's a kid. I love it. <laughs> Undyne's number one fan. Oh, wait, what's down there? Nothing? I don't know. Yo! Did you see that? A dying just touched me! I've never washed my face ever again! Man, are you unlucky. If you were standing just a little bit to the left... Yo, don't worry, I'm sure we'll see her again. Any trips. Classic. Okay, nothing. Let's just go. This cheese has been here so long, the, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. Squeak. Oh, I see. Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from uh, the magical crystal, it fills you with determination. <laughs> so these, save, these saves are so weird. Yo, what up, Sans? It's an odd looking telescope. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. Mm -hmm. It's normally 50,000 G to use this premium telescope, mm -hmm. but since I know you, you can use it for free. Mm -hmm. How's about it? Is there anything? What? Sick, Sans. Thanks for letting me use that. I pre oh, oh, oh! Look at my eye! <laughs> That's so funny. It's just pink now. I wonder if it'll change if I go through... Oh yeah, it changes if I go through a room. That's pretty cool. Really silly detail. Ice cream? I relocated my store, but there are still no customers. Fortunately, I've thought of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you had three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. Hello, would you like some ice cream? It's a frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 25G. Yeah. Super, here you go. Your card's in the box. Box contains one card. Got a punch card. Nice. I actually don't even know if the punch card really does anything, but uh... So let's put the punch card in. Put the snowman piece in. Just in case the snowman piece is actually relevant, because I think you're supposed to... S it, it says it wants to save it. Or, it wants you to like go on an adventure, I guess. With it. What's the star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? <laughs> I'm a star. Ooh, what? Have I even met that character ever? Even in my first playthrough, did I not meet that character? Might have not. Okay. You hear a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? You hear a passing conversation. Okay. Hmm, just one, but it's kind of stupid. Hello! This is Papyrus! Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the Freddy wanted to know. Her opinion of you is very... Murdery! Well, worry not, dear human! Papyrus would never betray you! You said you were not wearing a dusty tutu! So of course how she told her! You were indeed wearing a dusty tutu! <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> it paid me to it paid me to tell such a bold faced lie! But since you aren't wearing a dusty tutu, she surely won't attack you! Now you are safe and sound! Wow we this is hard! I just want to be everybody's friend. So the first the first time I played this game, I said no. Oh no, I said I, I told the truth and said I was wearing a dusty tutu, and I was wearing a dusty tutu, and that all played out the same. I got attacked by nine. So you hear past the conversation. Don't say that. Come on, I promise I won't laugh. All right, there's a single wish that is being told almost. Power to take their souls. 
this is a power that the humans feared. Um, Washua. Uh, can I just flee? Oh, I can't flee? Okay. Oh my gosh. Uh, I could have avoided that so easily. Alright, let's clean it. Green means clean. Okay, okay, just remember this. I suck! I suck! Woodward Tentacles. I forgot this character. I don't even remember its name. Is it like a narwhal? No. I forgot. Hey, bear. Noticed you were here. I'm Onion-san. Onion-san, you here? Onion-san. <laughs> it's funny. You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I have the time to sit down all the time, but hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium like all my friends did. Oh, it feels bad, man. And the aquarium is full anyway, so even if I want to, I... That's okay, though. You hear? And Dad's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Onion son. Hey, there. That's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. And waterfall. Oh. <laughs> Later. <laughs> Onion son. Rip. Oh. Shiren hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. Um. Tone deaf. She's too ashamed to sing her. She's too ashamed to sing her deadly song. I don't want her to sing her deadly song, do I? So I want to laugh at her, or what? Shiren thinks about doing karaoke by herself. You smile, you ask to see Shiren smile too. She gets quieter. In the corner, Eren nods his head approvingly. Who's Eren? I forgot who Eren- What was Eren's quirks? Like, what is he doing? Thinks about doing karaoke by herself. Uh, maybe I should be humming. Oh, conduct. No, no, no. You wave your arms wildly. You're now vulnerable to electric attacks. Oh, that's bad. Smells like music. Okay. What's. You wave your arms wildly. Okay. Maybe I'm choosing the wrong options here. Thinks about doing karaoke. Okay. Hum? You hum a jazz ballad. Ballad. Sharon follows your melody. Oh, oh. See, this is not the play. I hate being sick. It sucks. Yeah, man, that sucks. Uh, how, how sick are you? That's too bad, man. I mean, just rest up. Hopefully, you'll be better by Monday, or I don't know, ASAP, obviously. But um. I'm missing five health. Let's read all these, actually. It contain lore. The northern room hides a great treasure. Okay, that's not lore. This power has no counter. Indeed, a, pa a human soul, ta a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears, and an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There's only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster soul is strong enough to pers persist after death. If only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened. And now it never will. I'm coughing a lot. Your throat is hurting and my nose is running. Your nose is running. Ah, that's too bad. Hey, Joan, what's up, man? How you doing tonight? It's a statue. The structures at, this feet seem, at its feet seem dry. Um... Please take one. Okay. Zip over the sex. Yeah. Sorry about that, man. You took an umbrella. Alright, let's give this... The, put the sta umbrella on the statue. Yeah. You place the umbrella atop the statue. Inside the statue, a music box begins to play. 
means it continues and doesn't stop. All right, dot upright, dot down down 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 right, dot upright, dot down down. There's a piano here. Play it. Yeah. Woo! All right, first try. Uh, it's a legendary artifact. Will you take it? Wait, wait. Last time I tried to take it, what happened? I forgot. Oh, man. <laughs> You're carrying too many dogs. Oh, no, I did the same thing. I assume it would have happened the same way, either way. Annoying dog. Okay. Annoying dog. White little, a uh, little white dog is fast asleep. Will you take it? Can't too many dogs. Oh, I have to. Can I drop this? Can I drop the dog? Dropping dogs is like kind of messed up, though, right? All right, I'm I'm doing it. You put the dog on the ground. No! The dog absorbs the artifact. Rip. If you use it or drop it, it does the same thing, I guess. Oh, see the artifact. The artifact is gone. Well, that was fun. See ya. <laughs> A haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Oh, yeah, okay. So I have dog residue now, though. Dog residue is busted. So good. If only I could have that artifact, though. Let's take an umbrella. The kid! Yo! You got an umbrella? Awesome! Let's go! <laughs> this is nice. I like it. Man, Undyne is so cool! She, she beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night. Knowing she was going to beat me up. <laughs> Undyne is coming for me, though. Oh. So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. That's Oh, that's the actual king. Yeah. Ascor. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. I mean, probably. How do I talk to that echo flower over there? Probably can't. Um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. I'm an innocent person. Later, kid. Oh, never mind. Uh, let me put this back. Return the umbrella? Doesn't make a difference. It's still raining. Why would I want to put it back? Yeah, uh, Waterheart, that room is, uh, you put the umbrella on top of the statue. And then you, it'll give you the music notes, and then you play the music notes on the piano. Pretty cool. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Hmm. Yo, you want to see Undyne, right? Put up your umbrella and climb on my shoulders. You're not going to be able to climb with an umbrella. Okay. Fine. Sick throw. Yo, you going ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. Plus, I wish so good about Mob Psycho tonight. Bruh. Uh, has you seen Season 1? Did you not like Season 1? It's like One Punch Man, but with character development. 
The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. Yo, what is that emote? Some horse. Yo, you're sub to summit? Nice, dude. How you doing, Brandon? How you doing tonight? Hope it's going well. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. The serene sound of a distant music box. It fills your determination. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United? The, the humans were too powerful, and us monsters? Too weak. We just watched season 1, episode 2 tonight. Uh, then I don't blame him. Season, the show, the show does start off pretty slow. Not a single soul was taken, and countless monsters were turned to dust. Yeah, I don't blame him. The show does start off slow for sure. But, episode 5 is where it starts, I think. It's like a decent show before that, but it's not, uh, uh, it's like really good, episode 5. What a fun dying. That's never gonna hit me. Ugh! How do I avoid that? Alright, we, we should build. I should be more willing to stop when I need to. Rather than keep running the whole time. Ugh! Ooh, that's close. Oh! idea. Maybe here? Maybe? Oh no! Uh, well, I don't want to take damage. There's like no way not to take damage. So. Uh, uh, where am I? Going? Up, right? Ugh! We're fine. <laughs> We're good. We're fine, right? Uh... I don't remember. Okay, let's run. Let's go to the right. Let's go to the right. Oh, okay. Thanks, Undyne. You could've probably killed me right there. It sounds like it came from over here. Oh! You've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up! B, huh? That's a nice name. My name is... I completely forgot about this part. The one area in the game where there are, where there are any shadows whatsoever. No, 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 uh, well, basically, yeah. And, and the Undyne parts in general, pretty much. How's the garbage? There are quite a few brands you recognize. Just garbage? Okay. Garbage. A trash heap. Your persistent garbage habit shows no signs of paying off. Trash. How's the garbage? Okay. It actually did not pay off. Alright. Okay, okay. Oh, wait, wait, no, I can't, I can't. I can't, I can't save yet. Because I, I, I didn't read it. Partaking in worthless garbage fills you with determination. Oh, what? I didn't have to read the whole thing. There's way more than that. Wait, who am I fighting here? I forgot about this fight. Oh, the dummy. You rest your hand on the rusted bike. It's horn wheezes a honk of despair. We have desktop computer. The inside is empty. Okay. It's a cooler. It has no brand and shows no sign of wear. I said there are a couple of freeze-dried space food bars. Yeah. Let's take one. How much space do I have? I'm probably out of space now. So hopefully... It's a DVD case for an anime. Desperate claw marks cover the edges. 
All right, how do I beat this dummy again? I don't remember. It seems like a regular training dummy. Do you want to beat it up? No. He's staring at each other's eyes for a moment. Too intimidated to fight me, huh? I am a ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy too, until you came along. When you talked to them, they thought you—they thought they were in for a nice chat. But the things you said, horrible, shocking, unbelievable. It spooked them right out of their dummy. Human, I'll scare your soul out of your body. Mad dummy blocks away. How do I fight this again? You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. Foolish, foolish, foolish! Ooh! How did I dodge all that? What the heck? Oh, oh, I remember this right now. Okay, okay. Ow, you dummies! Watch where you're aiming, your magic attacks! Hey, you! Forget I said anything about magic! Mad dummy's looking nervous. Talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much of a conversation. No one's happy with this. Okay. Hit him a few times there. Mad dummy glares into a mirror, then turns to you with the same expression. Talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much of a conversation. No one's happy with this. I'll use your soul to cross the barrier! Oh, how did I not get hit by that? I'm insane. Mad dummy, mad dummy glares into a mirror and turns to you with the same expression. I'll stand in the window of a fancy store. Hit him. Oh, that was a lot of hits, actually. Mad dummy's doing uh, armless ska dance. <laughs> okay. Then everything I want will be mine! Ooh, I'm not going enough at an angle here to hit him. My dummy's getting caught all over the dialogue box. <laughs> huh? Yeah, I guess I'll uh, I guess I'll avenge my cousin. Oh, uh, there's no chance I can avoid this. Okay. How did I avoid him all together there? My dummy's getting okay. Yep. What was your name again? Okay. I'll hit him, right? Nice hits. My dummy's getting caught all over the okay. Whatever, whatever, whatever! What? No hits? That was so close. Feeble, feeble, feeble! Alright, right here, right here. That was, that was good hits. I'm gonna go now, but we should have watched the bit. Alright. Alright, Waterheart. Have a good night, man. Uh, feel better. I hope you feel better, man. Get some rest. That's so many hits right there. Nice. Hey guys! Oh! Dummies, dummies, dummies! Remember how I said not to shoot at me? Well? Failures! You're fired! You're all being replaced! Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Now you'll see my true power! Relying on people that aren't garbage! Mechanical words fill the room. Sound to the dummy. Okay, same thing. Dummy rope, dummy bots, magic missile! Nice. It smells like a clothing store. Dummy bots, try again! Ooh! How can I avoid all those? Mad Dummy is hopping mad. <laughs> Dummy bots, you're awful! Ugh! We're fine, I guess, somehow. Uh, doing all that skull dance, okay. Dummy bots, final attack! Ow. I get hit by that every single time I do this. How can I not get hit by at least one of those? No, no way! 
These guys are even worse than the other guys. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I don't need friends. I've got knives! I don't need friends, I've got knives. The logic, it's so sound. I'm out of knives! But it doesn't matter. You can't hurt me and I can't hurt you. You'll be stuck fighting me. Forever. 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 <laughs> okay, all right. What? Okay. Uh, what the heck is this? Acid rain? Oh, forget it. I'm out of here. All right, well, that was exciting. Nabs to look, my boy. Sorry, I interrupted you, didn't I? As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Oh, no. You guys look, look like you were having fun. Oh, no. I just wanted to say hi. Oh, no. Naps the book, my boy. Well, I'm going to head home now. Oh, feel free to come with if you want. But no pressure. I understand if you're busy. It's fine. No worries. Just thought I'd offer. Um, I just realized something. Am I following True End so far? Am I okay right now? I'm gonna look a little bit at the, uh, Um, I'm wor- yeah. I'm just worried that I'm not gonna make the true end at this point. Because, I, I bet that guy, that, the training, the dummy right there basically died. Hey, my house is up here. In case you wanna see. Or in case you don't. Absolute look feels bad, man. I'm not gonna save yet. I want to look at the guide real quick. Where's the dummy? I think I'm okay. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. I'm gonna save. We're still reaching the end. The past is end. You feel calm and tranquility. You're filled with determination. Naps to look. Yo, I forgot this is his house. Oh, you really came. Sorry. I wasn't expecting that. It's not much, but make yourself at home. The CD's level spook tunes. Play it? Yeah. It's a spider web. There's a flyer for a big sale on it. Oh, a classic spook tune. They don't make songs like this anymore. Spook tunes indeed. Oh, that's my TV. There's a show I like to watch on it. Sometimes. Oh, are you hungry? I can get you something to eat. This is a ghost sandwich. Do you want to try it? You attempt to bite into the ghost sandwich. You phase right through it. Oh, never mind. After a great meal, oh. After a great meal, I like to lie on the ground and feel like garbage. <laughs> It's a family tradition. Do you want to join me? Okay. Follow my lead. All right, let's just lay on the ground and feel like garbage for a little while. Here we go. You'll lie down as long as you don't move. So, only move around when you want to get up, I guess. With the spook tune going on too. How you guys doing tonight? It's late for me, but I watched a movie tonight. You're gonna laugh at the title, probably. It's a really strange title. It's called I Want to Eat Your Pancreas. <laughs> I promise it's not weird, though. The 
it's an expression in Japanese, and it's like, it's like I want you to get better. If your pa if your pancreas is causing you problems, <laughs> it's a really weird title, and I can't justify it, but. It's a really good movie. It's really sad. It was really sad. It, yeah, it made me cry. I just wanted to sit here a little bit because I like the scene with Napster Pluck where uh, you just get to uh, chill in the in space with him, basically. We can probably get up now, though. Well, that was nice. Thank you. Alright, let's get out of here. Uh, I'm gonna keep working on that mix CD. The Fire Mixtape by Napstablook. It's locked. Okay. Oh, what's over here? Is this the Echo, the echo Flower? Oh, it's the... This little bird wants to carry you across. Accept the right bird's offer? No. Sorry, dude. Tch. I appreciate that, though. What? 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 It's a living. Okay. Doesn't seem like anyone's home. Okay. Alright. Uh, let's save again. Now that we did Naps to Blook's house. North Blook, Blook Acres, Hot East Hotland, uh, Timmy Village. All right. If anyone's here on my first playthrough, awkward. I'm working right now. I mean, welcome to Blook Family Snail Farm. Yeah, I'm the only employee. This place used to get a lot of business, but our main customer disappeared one day. Now it's just some hairy guy that shows up once a month. Alright, so the, the the snail races. I still have not figured out how to win this thing. Alright, so it's gonna let me, like, pick yellow. And I have to cheer on yellow. Do you wanna play a game? It's called Thunder Snail. The snails will race, and if the yellow snail wins, you win. You win. It's 10G to play. Alright, press A repeatedly to encourage your snail. Ready? I don't know the timing. I don't know the timing at all. Like, I'm just like, pressing A. You can't spam it, otherwise your, your snail gets too tired and he just like, dies. There's gotta be a timing to it, and I, I just can't win. Like, I think it's outpacing all the snails right now, but I think it's too far behind to so win. Actually, yeah, no, I can't win now. I can't win. There's no way. It'll be blue. It won't be red. Yeah. Oh, you both tried your best, but the snail looks discouraged. Your best wasn't good enough. Oh. Alright, we're gonna try again. I don't know it. Also, the music is amazing. For a snail race, anyway. I don't know. I'm just counting down my head, like, every three seconds. And hoping it's, like, right. I can't, I, I, I don't know. I, I just, I'm not frame perfect. There's gotta be, like, you know how wobbling and melee is 200 beats per minute? I mean, it's gotta be something like that, right? I mean, <laughs> something like that? I don't know. Use the box? Uh, yeah. So let's throw in something. Let's use a dog residue and then store residue. Okay. Take back the, some of this stuff. 
yeah, this is fine. Wow, there! I got some neat junk for sale! Uh. This is a weapon. Invincible longer. This might be really good, actually. Since I'm not planning to attack anyway, having a weapon in my... Having something as a weapon that will just make me more invincible uh, would probably be pretty good. Let's buy it. Actually, let's... Uh, I think I need to make room for my inventory first. Hang on. Let's get rid of a... Uh, okay, I just ate the dog salad. It's fine. Alright, yeah, let's buy this. And then, let's equip it. Tough glove is what, again? Uh, yeah, just five attack. See, I lose attack, but I don't care. Doesn't matter. What is down? Oh, it's the, uh... It's like the destination, or it's like the ferry between Hotlands and, uh, Snowden. Hurt, beaten, and fearful for our lives, we surrendered to the humans. Seven of their greatest magicians sealed us underground with a magic spell. Anything can enter through the seal, but only beings the powerful soul can leave. There is only one way to reverse the spell. If a huge power, equivalent to seven human souls, attacks a barrier, it will be destroyed. But this cursed, pl this cursed place has no entrances or exits. There is no way a human could come here. We will remain trapped down here forever. Somehow, I'm here though. Oh, this is what the light, the light mushrooms do. I forgot. The only use for them, really. Oh. Special enemy Temmie appears here to defeat you. Uh... Be Temmie Flakes? Temmie only wants Temmie Flakes. Okay. Uh... Oh, what the- What is this? What? Stop! What? Oh my gosh. Temmie's trying to glomp you. Flex. You flex it, Temmie. No! Muscles are not cute! Oh, I have to disagree. Oh, this that's Aaron. I forgot. No! What? Just the two of us, huh? I have no idea what's going on. Where did Aaron come from? Aaron is ready for your next flex. Okay. This is weird. He fucks himself out of the room! Alright. Well, that was odd. Oh, wait. Oh, I got faded. I was supposed to go that way. Alright, and then turn on this mushroom. I'm about to fight Undyne. Which is a not easy fight. Without candles or magic to guide them home, the monsters use crystals to navigate. Oh! Do I have time? Good, good. Uh, oh! Walk into mold small. Uh, smells like a bait shop. What? Imitate? Alert. You approach most balls. Suddenly! Go! It's a mold big. Mold large. Ow! It smells like a base shop. I can't do anything to it. Mold big. It is mold big. Uh, unhug? You don't hug most balls. It appreciates your respect of its boundaries. <laughs> okay. That's silly. Oh, dang. Most of us comfortable with your presence. Alright, let's get out of here. Or oh, mold big. Sorry, not mold small. Ooh. Alright, made it. 
I went with my health at 13 out of 20. All right, we made it. We're done. I think. Do I want to? I'm worried about this. Behind you. Yo, what up, Undyne? Seven. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Ascor, dreamer, will become a god. With that power, Ascor can finally shatter the barrier. He will finally take the service back from humanity and give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only, your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your body. What happened again? I don't remember. I'm done! I'll help you fight! Yo! You did it! Undyne's right in front of you! You got a- you got front row seats to her fight! Wait... Who's she fighting? Uh, hey! You ain't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? Alright. Let's, uh, go up, I assume? No? How do I get... Anywhere. Oh, up. Oh, okay. You can't. Hmm. If I say my wish, you promise you won't laugh at me? This is from the the that the person that had one wish before the conversation beforehand. Of course, I won't laugh. Someday, I like to climb this mountain we're all buried under, standing under the sky, looking at the world all around. That's my wish. You hear laughter. Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh at it. Sorry, it's just funny. That's my wish too. However, there is a prophecy. The angel, the one who has seen the surface, they will return and the underground will go empty. Go! gonna fall, right? Yo, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. Oh. Uh, shoot, I don't know what he said. Um, yo, you're human, right? <laughs> Man, I knew it. Well, I know it now, I mean. When Dine told me, um, stay away from that human. So, like, um, I guess that makes us enemies or something. But I kind of stink at that. <laughs> yeah, say something mean so I can hate you? Please? No. Yeah, what? So I have to do it? Here goes nothing. Yo, I... I hate your guts! Man, I, I'm such a turd. I'm... I'm gonna go home now. Yo, whoa, wait! Help! I tripped! Y y yo Dude! If- If you wanna hurt my friend, you're gonna get through me first! Let's go. I don't even know this kid's name. It doesn't even have a name? She's gone. Yo, you really saved my skin. Guess being enemies was just a nice thought, huh? We'll just have to be friends instead. Man, I should really go home. I bet my parents are worried sick about me. Don't run. Later, dude. Didn't trip. He's fine. All right.
Seven. Seven human souls, and King Asgore will become a god. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. Understand? Through your, through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as is customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago. No. You know what? Screw it! Why should I tell you that so story when you're about to die? Yeah! This song, though. Music is pretty sick. You! You're standing in the way of everybody's hopes and dreams. Alphys's history books made me think humans are cool. With their giant robots and flowery swordswomen. But you? You're just a coward. Hiding behind that kid so you could run away from me again. And let's not forget your wimpy goody two shoes shtick. Oh, I'm making such a key difference by hugging random strangers. You know what would be more valuable to everyone? If you were dead! That's right, human. Your continued existence is a crime. Your life is all that stands between us and our freedom. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts pounding together. Everyone's been waiting their whole lives for this moment. But we're not nervous at all. When everyone puts their hearts together, they can't lose. Now, human, let's end this right here, right now. I'll show you how determined monsters can be. Step forward when you're ready. <laughs> the wind is howling. You're filled with determination. Alright, let's go. That's it, then. No more running away. Here I come. Alright, let's see if I can remember this fight. Unguard! And die attacks. Uh, plead. You told Undyne you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. As long as you're green, you can't escape. Unless you learn to face danger head on. You won't last a second against me. Oh, that, oh no. Oh no, this part's so. I remember this fight. This is hard. Undyne draws her finger across her neck. You told Undyne you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. Not bad. Then how about this? And that looks of her friends and pounds the ground with a fist. You told Undyne you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. For years, you dreamed of a happy ending. I can't get hit. I have a lot of healing though. Way more than I did the first time. Undyne towers threateningly. You told Undyne you didn't want to fight, okay. And now, sunlight is just within our reach. A dime flashes a messy smile. I won't let you snatch it away from us. A dime thinks of her friends and pounds the ground with her fists. Yeah! Enough warming up! I almost- I, I, I forgot about that entirely. Alright, Undyne holds her fist in front of her head and shakes her head. Lee? Escapes. Alright. Later! You can't get away from me this time. Undyne attacks. Okay. Honestly, I'm doing you a favor. Don draws her finger across her neck. No human has ever made it past Asgore. Oh! Oh. Don flashes a fancy smile. Killing you now is an act of mercy. Oh! I got hit. No. Don draws her finger across her neck. So stop being so damn resilient. Oh, I got hit by that? Are you joking? The dime flips her spear impatiently. Escapes. Alright, one more. At least one more. This might be, I might have one more fight after this. You've escaped from me for the last time. 
Alphas, Alphas told me humans were determined. A dime points heroically toward this, towards the sky. I see now what she meant by that. Alright, really all I have to do is stall. I have enough heals where I should be able to do it. And Dime flips your spe spirit impatiently. But I'm determined too! Ooh! I got- I got so tricked! Oh gosh, it's so confusing. It smells like sushi. Okay. Determined to end this right now! Ooh! I got mind game so hard! Alright, let's heal. A dime tower is threatening. Let's use a bandage. You reapply the bandage. Still kind of gooey. Recover 10 HP. Good. Right now. Good. A dime points heroically towards the sky. Right now. A dime points towards the sky. Ha! Ha! Alright, that's fine. The dying points her up with Scott. Okay. Yeah! Die already, you little brat! Ugh! Ugh! I'm getting so tricked! I don't know where to go! Alright, we're just gonna ignore that entire right there. That was awful. I I seriously blocked the first hit and that was it. I died bounce impatiently. Let's run away. I'm out of here. Last fight. What's up? I was just thinking. You, you, me, and a dime should all hang out sometime. I think we would, you would, I think you would make great pals. Let's meet up at your house later. I made it. Oh my gosh. See you, Sans. Oh, first try. Did not even wipe on her once. Nice. Armor so hot, I can't give up. It's a water cup. Take a cup of water. You take a cup of water. Give one down the water. We did it. We did it. The step that I missed last time. This is it. Now, was talking to Sans necessary? Hopefully not. Alright, so now we're in the hotlands. Let's see if we can go talk to Undyne now. I don't know where she is. But, I think we should be able to go talk to her and go on like on a date with her or something. Anyone know where she might be? It's a box, presumably to be pushed. What the? Can I push it? What is this guy? Bah, today's much is done to appreciate what makes puzzles great. Nowadays, puzzles are nothing but lizards and moving rocks. Bah, there's no art in that action, a mindless schlock. This is time and base drivel. Give me something that challenges the deepest reaches of my mind. You! You're young. You still got hope. Get here. Here, try solving this block pushing puzzle. What? What are you doing? You're pushing it all wrong. Well, forget it. This generation is really hopeless. What? No matter how I push it, he gets mad. Bah, never mind. Old geezer, old geezer. Alright, where's Undyne? I'm worried. I gave her water. What do I do now? Where is she? I don't know. I'm, I just really hope I did everything I needed to do. If I didn't, I'm going to be very sad. 
I might have to restart again. Possibly. I don't know. I just need someone to help me confirm, because I'm afraid. <laughs> We're gonna call it good. I think I I think Undyne is fine. I just don't know where she is. That's the problem I'm worried about. Alright, let's just go. What was Sans doing? Can we talk to Sans right there? While we're being chased by, uh... Um, uh, by Undyne? Okay, 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 okay. I was thirsty, so I came over from Waterfall to get a drink. Take a cup of water. Okay. Cool. Water evaporated from the heat. The cup evaporated too. <laughs> Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this, you're filled with determination. Let's go. Tra la la. I am the river man. Oh, am I the river woman? It doesn't really matter. I love to ride in my boat. Could, would you care to join me? Now let's go to Waterfall, and I really just want to see Undyne. I would feel a whole lot better. <laughs> I almost just died. <coughs> to die. Oh man. Sorry. Tra la la, remember to take a break every so often. Alright. I, 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 real. I would feel a lot better if I see, um, Undyne. See. I don't see anything related to... Can't see anything related to Undyne. More than I need to do, anyway. So... We're just gonna, like, chill. What do we think Undyne is? I don't know. Let's just go back to the hot. Oh no, I didn't want to go to Snowden. I wanted to go to the Hotlands. Alright, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Whoa. Going super fast. Temi Village. The room where the darkening lantern room. Before the darkening lantern room. Let's go to Hotlands. I don't, I don't need to be here. Come again sometime. Alright, let's go. I'm just gonna skip this text. Are you and Death Ryan on a cat? Yeah, it's actually cat dog. Uh, well, it's cat dog without the dog. It's as long as cat dog is. Humans, monsters, flowers. Such a weird boat. It's pretty awesome. Come again sometime. Alright. Alright, so we're back to where we were. Let's save for fun. 
Maybe I will do the um, the first Metaton fight and then maybe call it an early night or an early stream. Not the long, not a very long stream, but I want to um. We started late, so I don't want to be up too late either. Alphys, love Alphys. Oh my God! I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered. I'm barely dressed. It's all messy, Ann. Um. Uh, hiya. I'm Dr. Alphys. I'm Asgore's royal scientist. B but uh, I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've um been observing your journey through my console. Your fights. Your friendships, everything! I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on a screen really makes you root for them. So, uh, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotland. I know a way right to Asgore's castle, no problem! Well, actually, um, there's just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. Anyway, the reason I decided to make him more useful, you know, just some small practical adjustments, like, um, anti, anti-human combat features? Uh, of course, of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I had to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so. And, um, now it's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood? <laughs> huh? But, um, hopefully he, we won't run into him. <clears throat> I love this fight. It's so funny. Did you hear something? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. I was, I'm supposed to give him an announcer voice. Oh, yes! Welcome, beauties! To today's quiz show! Oh, boy, I can already tell it's going to be a great show! Everyone give a big hand for our wonderful contestants! Never played before, gorgeous? No problem, it's simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly. Or you die! Manton attacks. Uh... Check. Manton, his body... His metal body renders him invulnerable to attack. Let's start with an easy one! What's the answer? What's the price for answering correctly? More questions! Right, sounds like you get it. Screaming, screaming is against the rules. Here's your terrific prize. What's the king's full name? Uh, Ascord Dreamer. Correct! What a terrific answer! Quiz show continues. Enough about you, let's talk about me! What are robots made of? Metal and magic. Oh, I didn't realize... Wait, is Dr. Alphys giving me the answer the whole time? I didn't realize she did. That's so funny. The quiz show continues. Here's another easy one for you. Two trains, train A and train B. Is that what's... Alphys is giving me the answer the entire time? The quiz show continues. I'm just watching Alphys. Don't count on your victory. How many flies are in this jar? Hey. Oh my gosh, Alphys is a- Why didn't I notice it? This is hilarious! The quiz show continues. Let's play memory game! What monster is this? D, it's Metaton. I'm so flattered you remembered! The quiz show continues. Okay, and you got this one! What did you switch a ghost? Great answer! I love it! The quiz show continues. Okay. Here's a simple one. How many letters in the name Metaton? A 
course that was easy for you. Time to bring out the big guns. In the dance simulation video game, Mimi Kissy Cutie, what is Mimi's favorite food? <laughs> it's too fast for me to read. It's like a VN. It's like a visual novel or something. Alphys is like, if Alphys has played it, it's like your favorite VN. Alphys, 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 you aren't helping our contestant, are you? Oh, you should have told me. I'll ask a question. You'll be sure to know the answer too. Who does Dr. Alphys have a crush on? It's on time. See Alphys, I told you it was obvious. Even the human figured it out. Yeah, she scrolls her name in the margin of her notes. She names, pro pro she names programming variables after her. She even writes stories of them together. Sharing a domestic life. Probability of crush, 101%. Margin of error, 1%. Well, well, well. But Dr. Alpha's helping you. The show has no dramatic tension. You can't go on like this. But, but, this was just a pilot episode. Next up, more drama, more romance, more bloodshed. Until next time, darlings. All right, see, that's the end of the, that's the end of fight one with Metaton. Well, that was certainly something. <laughs> Let me see here. See my inventory. Okay, it's a bag of half dog. A dog that's half full. Wait, wait. Let me give you my phone number. And then maybe if you need help, I can. Well, where'd you get that phone? It's ancient. It doesn't even have texting. But wait a second, please. Based Alphys. Here, I upgraded it for you. It can do texting, items, it's got a keychain. I even set you up for the underground's number one social network. Now we're officially, officially friends. <laughs> <laughs> so awkward. I'm going to the bathroom. I love it. And right, let's, uh... Put some dog residue in B. Just because dog residue is broken. So. The fridge is filled with instant noodles and soda. Take a package of noodles? Yeah. Got some ramen now. Yellow feet are tapping just behind the door. Alright. That's a bathroom sign. The space behind that wall is only a few feet wide. Alright, we're probably gonna stop, basically. Um. Maybe once I just check this out. Uh, I did this in my first playthrough. I'm not gonna look at this again for the most part. No real reason to. I just wanted to make sure I'm not missing any items, basically. All right. Yeah, let's let's uh let's head out to the right and then save and then be done for the night. Short stream, but I started late, so. Alphys updates to us. Just realized I didn't watch Undyne fight the human. Well, I know she's unbeatable. I'll ask her about it later. And now I gotta call up the human and guide them. Where's my save? Whoa. Vulcan strolls in. Courage. It's doing a great job. Its attacks become extreme. Does, does my best. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah. Grenades around you, probably. Oh, okay. Wait. Gonna call them in a minute. Alright. Alright, well, once we find a save, I don't know if we will soon. Dr. Alphys is gonna call us, apparently. Oh, there we go. The wishing sound of steam and cog, it fills you with determination. 
All right, we're gonna be ending here tonight. Thank you guys for watching. I know it's a short stream, but uh, you guys, it's fun. Uh, we haven't we haven't really died yet, which is obviously because I'm more prepared than I was the first time I played this game. But we have more heals. Um, we know the fights better. There's a lot of factors, but yeah, it's going way faster. So, and I really, I'm probably gonna complete the game tomorrow. I think um, we'll do the what was it? The Muppet fight, the Muppet fight, and then we'll go to Ascor, do some Metaton fights again. Hopefully, we'll win those. But yeah, uh, then we'll reach the true pacifist. I think I'm hoping. So, yep. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have a good night. And I hope to see you tomorrow when I finish this game. Alright, see ya.